people don't think I could be real, like, girly, like, you know. I got a soft side too, boo. We could have the greatest connection out of that. If we don't have a connection in the bedroom, then I just feel like it just goes down here. I'm Queen Lior, I'm here with Trashy. Let's talk some trash. Okay, boom. What's the biggest misconception about your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. I don't know, they were trying to say we control freaks, we evil as fuck. We got that side, but you know, I'm very sweet. You know, I just like shit handled a certain motherfucking way. So maybe that shit ain't a misconception. Maybe I am fucking crazy. Okay. What's your most slept on feature? People don't think I could be real like girly like, you know. I got a soft side too, boo. I don't gotta be so tough with you. You just gotta bring that shit out. I'm really, I'm really in touch with my motherfucking feelings, but they don't get to see that because they don't be asking the right question. How did you find out a friend wasn't a friend? Shit, that liquor gon' motherfucking tell it. I'm telling you. Whenever you go out with some people, if y'all get drunk and shit, watch them little motherfucking comments that folks be saying, bitch, I remember everything. I'm not one of them drunks that be waking up, what the fuck happened? No, I don't do that. I know what the fuck happened, bitch. And I'm on your motherfucking ass, so, so wake your ass up. What have you realized you like less and less as you get older? <laughs> These niggas, I'm so tired of their ass. I'm finna switch races, baby. Finna find me a nice Caucasian. What's the weirdest DM you've ever received? Recently, I just had to block and report somebody. It was like, hey, skinny ass hoe, come pick me up and take me on a date, bitch. And I was their profile picture. That was fucking insane. Like, what the fuck is going on? What the hell, you smoking heroin? Ever since you left, bitch, you been losing weight. What the hell, you taking heroin? One time. You go through phones. I used to go through phones. And let's say I just learned my motherfucking lesson. I'm done doing that shit. Creeping in the phone in the middle of the night, my heart hurting. Sniffling and shit, sneeze, sneezing and shit, crying. I'm trying to cry and shit. Nigga waking up. What's what's wrong, baby? Now nah, I don't want to talk to your ass, bitch. Get out. Fuck no. What's the worst way you've ever been curved? One time I did in high school. I did really like this dude, and I was like kind of confused as to why he wasn't really fucking with me. Turns out he likes dick. So it really wasn't me. It really wasn't me. Shit. What's one thing your partner must know how to do? Who y'all think I'm gonna say? You have to know how to fuck. We could have the greatest connection out of that. If we don't have a connection in the bedroom, then I just feel like it just goes down here. Passion forms from the bedroom for me, you know? From that point on, anything you say or do, how you walk, how you touch me, how you talk to me, like, it just takes it up a level. So you gotta know how to fuck. Sorry, grandma. What's the hardest part about dating right now? They, these niggas don't know how to treat a lady. They used to these little hoes. Y'all hoes done fucked up the gang. So when they see a real bitch, they don't know what the fuck to do. These niggas need fathers in their life. These fathers need to step the fuck up. They don't know how to treat no damn bitch. <sighs> they don't know how to treat a woman. What's the most embarrassing place you've had to take a shit in? If my friends see this, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all this, okay? So I had pulled up on my friend. Nobody was at her house. I was supposed to be dropping some shit off. Bitch, I had some Milo's. Milo's is in Alabama, okay? That Milo's fucked my stomach up, bitch. I'm talking about bad. My shit was tight. Like, it was like somebody was stabbing me, bitch. It was broad daylight. I went to the side of her motherfucking house. I had some gift wrapping paper in my trunk. Lord have mercy. I just had to let it go, bitch. It was either the grass or my motherfucking seat. I'm gonna finish shit on myself. I just was back there like, Lord, I hope she don't got no fucking cameras. It was her mama house too. I'm real fucking sorry about that. I probably fertilized y'all plants real good though. <laughs> you, you wondering why your shit ain't died that season, baby? Cause the queen be horrible. What's the brokest thing someone has done around you? It was this one time we was on this trip in high school and this bitch had stole my friend money, you feel me? We couldn't really prove it, but this whole one eating the whole trip, this whole one doing shit the whole trip, not even a sip of water. As soon as we think she stole the fucking money, she had the Cinnabon line tearing this shit up. I'm talking about she got two minutes Cinnabon line. She got the whole pack, the extra frosting, all this shit. Bitch, you steal and go to get a cinnamon bun, bitch. You ain't even get no chicken hoe. You ain't get no outfit, bitch. We in the mall. And your dumb ass went to get a Cinnabon. That hoe stole some money just to get a fucking pastry. The fuck? He cares. <laughs> What's the worst karma have you ever experienced? My baby daddy. He's the worst karma I've ever experienced. <laughs> it goes around, goes around, she. I did his head like that. Now I gotta wake up and feed a baby at three in the morning, five in the morning, and night. That's karma for your ass. All right, let's see. What's the most overrated thing you've ever eaten? 
Burrito tacos. Is that how the fuck you say it? Burrito. Burrito tacos. I hate burrito tacos. Y'all just dipping nasty ass tacos in grease, bitch. That shit don't taste like shit, ho. The fuck? Oh God. That shit is greasy as fuck. One time I paid this hoe like $25 for some. Pulled up at her house mad as hell. I don't want this shit. And she was Mexican. Well, sorry if you see this. I fuck with you, but them, them tacos was fucking nasty. What makes a man childish? You ain't got shit to do all day with text my motherfucking phone, call my motherfucking phone. 2K, bitch, you childish as fuck. If you just sit there all day and play that motherfucking video game, ho, you sitting here arguing on your motherfucking headset, ho. That's what make your ass childish. Don't nobody want to sit here and talk to your ass all day and I just hear, hey, bro, bro, get down, get down, get down, get down. Here they come, here they come. That makes your ass childish. Get the fuck out my phone. Would you date someone shorter than you? Fuck no. Yeah. I'll be yelling at his ass. Sit the fuck down. Get the fuck out of my face. I need somebody that, that can yoke me up, baby. I'm real strong. I got a strong personality. I can't, you can't be shorter than me. Um, what's your biggest pet peeve? I hate a mustard ass nigga. If you broke, we can get you some money, baby. If you don't know how to dress, we can switch that up, baby. If you stink, bitch, I can't teach you hygiene, ho. You way too far gone. If you don't, if you don't know how to wash your ass, I can't teach you that shit. It's just something you'll never learn. That's a deal breaker. This is Queen Leora. I just wrapped it up with trash talk. And if it ain't trash, it's trash, bitch.